This video will discuss cause and effect essays, including why it's important to be able to analyze cause and effect relationships, the purpose of a cause and effect essay, and how you should write a cause and effect essay. I will also provide some, in, some examples to help you understand. Okay, so first let's talk about how cause and effect is used in everyday life. For example, this year a plane went missing. A giant piece of metal went missing. My question here is how in the world could we not find a giant piece of metal? The effect is the plane went missing. On this question, I would be analyzing the causes. Here's another cause and effect relationship I don't particularly understand. Why is Lady Gaga so popular? I mean, just look at her. She's wearing Kermit the Frog and meat as a dress. What caused her to become such a pop icon? That's a good cause and effect relationship. Cause and effect analysis is also done on the job. For example, in business, somebody might ask you to determine why quality control is better in one plant than in the other. That would require you to analyze the causes in both plants to get to the effect of the level of quality control. In criminal justice, one might want to determine why there is less crime in one neighborhood than in another neighborhood. Some of the causes that might lead to a lower crime rate could be a neighborhood watch or the diversity of the population that lives in that particular neighborhood. Or in nursing, you might want to analyze why some patients react poorly to vaccine and, uh, and vaccines and others don't. Because I have to tell you, if I looked like the woman on the right after getting a shot, I would want to know exactly what had happened to me to me have that reaction. So now that we've seen how cause and effect relationships are used in the real world, let's talk about this cause and effect essay you're going to have to write. What is the purpose of it? Well, the purpose of a cause and effect essay is to prove that a cause and effect relationship exists. There are a couple different ways you can format that. One way is to look at the causes of a particular event or effect. Another way is to look at the results of a particular cause, or you can analyze both the causes and the effects. So let's look at an example. Let's say I wanted to write a paper about why McDonald's is more successful than Burger King. And in this paper, I wanted to analyze the causes of the effect of McDonald's success over Burger King's success. Now I should note, for the purpose of this example, I'm making everything up, and so these may not be accurate numbers at all. For all I know, Burger King may be doing better than McDonald's. So let's say that one cause is that McDonald's has been in business longer. Now this part is true. McDonald's has been around since 1940, and Burger King has been around since 1953. That could be one cause why McDonald's has better business. Another cause could be McDonald's kid-friendly characters I remember the Hamburglar and Ronald McDonald, and so maybe it's something the kids like. Another cause as to why McDonald's is more successful than Burger King could be the better toys in the Happy Meal. And McDonald's has cheaper menu options. So in my example cause and effect essay, my topic is why McDonald's is more successful than Burger King. And now that I've identified some causes, my thesis is because McDonald's has been in business longer than Burger King, is more child friendly, and has better prices, McDonald's is more successful. So this means that my body paragraphs are going to discuss, one, how McDonald's has been in business longer, two, that it's more child friendly with its characters and toys, and three, has better prices. So now that I have a topic and a thesis, I can begin drafting my essay. In my essay, I want to have an introduction that states the clear thesis statement, body paragraphs that explain the nature of the cause and effect relationship, and a conclusion that sums everything up. So let's start with the introduction. Just like in any introduction, you need to state your topic, and you need to be clear. Make sure the reader can tell if you are examining the causes, the effects, or both. In this particular example, I'm examining the causes. And then state your thesis. Make sure you state the cause and effect relationship and the main points. Moving into the body, just like in any paper, your body must support the thesis. 
you need to show the causes for the effects or the effects of the cause. And you need to make sure that you back up every cause or effect with some sort of evidence. This can be researched proof, your own experiences, or just simple logic. This is not a research assignment. You do not have to use research for this particular paper. You may base the evidence on your own experiences and sense of logic. When you organize your body, you can set this up in a couple different ways. If you are examining the causes, which is what I'm doing in my example, my introduction would show my cause and effect relationship, and then each body paragraph would show one of the specific causes that I am looking for. I would only focus on one cause per body paragraph. If I am examining effects, I would still state my cause and effect relationship in my introduction, but now each body paragraph will focus on a separate effect. And just like with the causes, I'm only going to write about one effect per body paragraph. This will lead to a nicely organized paper. Finally, if I'm examining both causes and effects, of course I would start with a cause and effect relationship in my introduction, but now my body paragraphs are going to combine causes and effects. I'm going to talk about how one specific cause led to one specific effect, how another cause led to another effect, and how a third cause led to a third effect. And so therefore, in every paragraph, I'm referring to one specific cause and one specific effect. Finally, in the conclusion, you need to restate your topic, which is your cause and effect relationship, summarize your main points, so summarize the causes or the effects that you have discussed, and have a creative ending, just like in any other conclusion. This sums up how to write a cause and effect essay.